It's been weeks since her daughter was murdered and still no arrest, but tonight the mother of April Millsap opening up to Action News about the daughter she lost. Of course, April Millsap was just 14 years old when she was found dead near her home in Armada on July 24th. 7 Action News investigator Jonathan Carlson has been breaking new details in this case since April was found. He joins us live with that interview tonight. Jonathan. Well, good evening. April's family tells me they're just letting police do their job as they wait for answers. Meanwhile, they're sharing with us why April was so special. When April Millsap's body was found, her beloved dog Penny was still there guarding her, the only known witness to a horrific murder. Penny loved April. Whenever April came out of the room in the morning, she was there. Jennifer Millsap wears a pink ribbon in her hair these days. It was her daughter April's favorite color. She has only memories now. Just how warm she was and how quiet, uh, more quiet she was, but how caring she was. The 14-year-old's body was found last month along a trail not far from the family's home. The killer still at large. I just want answers. I just want to know why. I want to know who and I want to know why. What did a 14-year-old girl do so bad that she cost her life? That's something investigators have been trying to figure out for weeks. 7 Action News has been there, breaking new details in the case each week, from FBI roadblocks to lake searches and the location of where April's phone was reportedly found. But still no solid lead that has led to an arrest. The community of Armada wants answers, too. This tight-knit village has plastered pink ribbons all over town in support of the family. It hasn't been lost on Jennifer. My deepest thanks, appreciation. I can't thank you. It's not big enough. I don't feel thank you it's big enough way to thank this community for what they've done. It's so supportive that I couldn't ask for anything more. Emotional support has been the, what I rely, what I cherish most. She talked with us about a daughter who was like any other teenager. That once junior high kicked in, the friends became more important. But there was still a mother-daughter bond. Loved how people just she was there when. It, Anybody needed their shoes there. Quiet but generous, kind, caring, beautiful little girl. As for how Jennifer's holding up? Doing the best I can. I'm trying. It's hard. I have I have my days where it hurts. Now police say this is anything but a cold case. They're waiting on DNA results that could move this investigation forward. We're live in Armada. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Oh.